Salmon is a subsistence just like the, the great bison and buffalo was to the Plains Indians and the caribou, the people in the Arctic and Alaska villages. It's a food that's, you know, to, you know, it's a sustainable resource and a great deal of protein. You got birds, you got bears that all love salmon. They, and they bring so much into culture and life. And I always like to take, you know, because these napes here, especially on the larger ones, just because it has a, it can go sour a little bit if it's kind of heat and you leave it in too long. Um, what the, our people called was uh, catiche. Smelly. We process some salmon. We have a smokehouse over there. And we strip salmon, we season it, and right now it's underway. And it's like I use it, I use it for not only for a traditional meal, you can have fresh cucumbers, smoked salmon, some acorns from the trees. It's all together for sustainable living. So this is all, all materials, old growth redwood. And so put it there for ventilation. And the reason why I put it on strings is because all the oil and content comes down. A lot of people put them on racks. But when you put them on racks, when people put uh, heat to them, like that's kind of like, you know, barbecued, barbecued salmon. This is a traditional go away. Way back in the day, when it was fishing season, they would make uh, make their smokehouses on the river bar with brush, the willow. You know, and people like down in Potawatt down there, like with Jude and Eddie Maud and my brother-in-law, you know, people want to eat salmon. You should see how many people was lined up at the salmon festival to eat salmon cooked on a stick. And culturally, it brings people together. This is my home. This is me. And us old river warriors, we hang in here.